G'day guys, Olight's Warrior X Turbo. This is the smaller sibling to the Javelet Turbo that I reviewed a few weeks back. If you wanna see some comparison footage, some beam shots through the rifle scope, and my thoughts, stick around. There's also bonus content at the end of the video of some kill shots using my 17 HMR with the little Warrior X Turbo Torch. So if you're inclined to watch that sort of stuff, make sure you don't jump off the video too soon. Straight up, Olight did send me this light for the review, but I'll try and keep my opinion honest and just pass on some general things that I found as a normal user. Olight hunting lights. I'm not gonna harp on again, but I really rate them in the white light category. If you wanna see a bit more on that, make sure you click the link to my Javelet Turbo review in the video description. The long to short of this review, the Warrior X Turbo would be an excellent little light. It's compact for ranges out to about 200 meters mounted on a rifle. If you want more power, beam and run times, get the Javelet Turbo. If you want a detailed run through of how I came to that conclusion, keep watching the video. Torches in general, especially throw lights, it's not always about the lumens. Candela is a great measurement of beam worth looking for if listed in the specs. My original Javelet here, call it the benchmark of hunting lights, is 250,000 Candela with a beam rated at 1,000 metres. This little Warrior X Turbo is the same rating as my original Javelet in a format much more compact. I like this little light off the spec sheet alone. The new Javelet Turbo is another step up again at 422,500 Candela, so nearly twice as bright at full peg compared to the other two lights. I touched on this in my Javelet Turbo review, but let's look at the practicality behind a deep polished reflector for hunting at distances over 50 meters. This little flashlight here runs on a similar high powered lithium battery yet the reflector is much narrower and less deep. Also, the reflector is orange peeled to nicely flood the light. Interestingly, the lumens are similar to the Warrior X Turbo, but let's have a look in the bush at the beams. I'm just out tonight having a little bit of a muck around with this new Olight Warrior X Turbo. It's a pretty nifty little light. It's much smaller than the Javelet series. Now, what I've got is, for a bit of a comparison, I've just got this normal uh, size torch. I want to show you guys what the difference is between these throw lights and that. I've got my original Javelet and I also have the Javelet Turbo. Let's just compare some of these beams at 100 meters. So that there is the Warrior X Turbo, full power. Now I'm going to flick that guy off. That's my little light that doesn't have the reflector type that I talked about before. So as you can see there, it's just lighting up those trees, but hardly. So again, back to the Warrior X, big difference. Even the low power setting, as you can see there, if I flick it off, it's the other one back up. Hardly doing anything. It's not even hitting those trees 100 meters away. So that reflector type is a very important feature. That's the original Javelet on the right there. So it's a much more yellow beam. The new Warrior X is a much wider beam, which Robbo from Bolt Action Productions touched on that in his little review of the Warrior X. So it's pros and cons to that. The yellow light's pretty good actually. This beam here is the Javelet Turbo. Now there is a bit of a difference between the two beams. It's obviously more intense on the Javelet Turbo, but that little Warrior X doesn't do a bad job at 100 meters. Let's punch it out to 200, see if we can pick a difference in the beam. On the right here, that is the original Javelet. As you can see, the beam's quite a bit more yellow in tint. It does light up that centre dot slightly more. Let's have a little bit of a comparison of this to the Javelet Turbo out at 200 metres. Look, straight away, I'm hoping you guys can pick up in the video. I can certainly see that the Javelet Turbo has a more intense hotspot, but that little Warrior X, it's, it's nearly half the size, guys. It's, uh, it's doing a fantastic job out there. It's certainly impressing me, I'll say that. I think it's probably a really good option to rifle mount, to shoot. I know for myself, 200's a pretty long shot. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. You know, I, I found this Javelet Turbo pretty good out to sort of 300, 350 metres. This little Warrior X, if you're after a, a, a torch that you want to put on, say, a 223 and shoot out to sort of 
200, maybe 250 metres, it would depend on the lay of the land, what you're shooting at. This little Warrior X is probably going to do it for a much less weight, smaller size. Impressive little bit of kit for sure. Make sure you put a comment in the video. I'd love to hear what you guys think of the beam shot comparisons and your thoughts, which ones you'd choose, how you'd use it. Run times on the Warrior X Turbo. This will only run at the full 1100 lumens for six and a half minutes continuously until it will start heating up. Then it ramps down to 600 lumens for 105 minutes, which is still very usable. Practically, if you just flick it on to shoot, you'll be getting the full 1100 lumens as it won't get all that hot and ramp down if used for short durations. This little Warrior X Turbo runs on an Olight dual pole 21700 removable battery. They're worth about $40 Australian. I checked and it won't run on a regular 21700 due to the positive negative setup. But the Olight batteries aren't priced too badly anyway. This light runs on the pretty standard Olight magnetic charge cap. It's a great little feature to have for simple charging. Olight coloured filters. The larger Javelet filters don't fit the Warrior X. No biggie, but it's worth mentioning as we are comparing the lights here. Switching's a little bit different on the Warrior X. It's got a momentary on and a click to stay on option. If you give it a short press on this tail switch, without a click, it goes on to the low power settings. All the way in, it goes straight to high. Click back off. If you hold it in without releasing, without the click, it goes to the low setting and stays there until you remove your thumb. Same on the high setting. Hold your thumb on, stays on the high, remove your thumb, turns back off. Negatives or nitpicks. Nothing of note, guys. The Warrior X doesn't have the violently ribbed dildo-like body that the Javelet Turbo does, yet it's still nice and grippy in hand. Torch body diameter. The Warrior X Turbo is much closer to one inch at 25.7 millimeters. So it's squeezed reasonably easily into this Picatinny QR mount. The Javelet Turbo didn't like to fit at all with the larger body diameter at near 26 millimetres. This video is released in parallel to the 2020 Olight Christmas sale between the 13th and 17th of December. Make sure you get on that as there's some great discounts available if you're in the market for a white light. There's also an affiliate link below in the video description to the Olight store. If you can do me a favour and use that link if you do plan on buying anything, it will directly benefit my channel. You need to do nothing more than just use the link. The rest of it is all automatic and you'll know no different. If you do miss the flash sale, Olight has offered viewers of my video a 10% discount code. I'll have that in the description too. Final thoughts, which Olight hunting torch should you get? Both are really good options, it just depends on your usage. If you only want one light, get the Javelet Turbo as it will do everything and more that the Warrior X Turbo can do. But if you don't need a 350 metre beam and the large run times, like specifically rifle mounted for shooting to 200 metres, get the Warrior X Turbo. That's my take anyway. Righto, so I'm out tonight testing a hunting torch, so let's go hunting. If you don't want to see any animals get shot, don't watch this from here on. If you do, I'll see you at the end. a few rabbits out with this little warrior x turbo tonight it's a good little torch if you did like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel i'll see everyone next time